don't know how this is safe for a pilot to even be in there because it's on fire, but hey. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. We are on episode 171 of Unboxed. My name is Kevin and on today's episode, we are going to be unboxing the Mecha Dumpster Fire figure. All right, let's get started. It's time to get unboxed. All right, so this is the Mecha Dumpster Fire by 100% Soft. They have made a bunch of different uh, blind boxes and dumpster fires before this one, of course. But yeah, so if we take a look at the box around it, we have a bunch of rats working on the mech. Right here we have like a little control room. We have the blueprints. I'm gonna guess that the parts do come off of here. And the blueprint actually shows that you can take off the parts of the dumpster fire. Let's get right into opening this. All right, so it comes with some stickers. So I guess these are instructions on how to assemble it. So this is a very small sticker pack. I think it's for the control panel. So they are magnets. That's how you stick them together, I think. And okay. Cool. So this is the naked dumpster fire by itself and you can see like the metal parts here are for the magnets and it does have some parts where you can just click them on. So this is where the fire clicks on. Alright cool. Clicks just like that. Instruction number two, we got the side panel. So side panel right here. This one's supposed to be over here. This is pretty cool so far. So I'm not sure if they did this before, but I like the concept where you can just build your own dumpster fire. So, oh, we need to put the legs on first. All right, oh, this is so cool. Imagine if this lights up, that would be so cool. All right, so number four is the jet pack. Oh, so I have to put the fire on first. Oh, that was a nice click. There you go. And we just, oh, so this is the magnet, of course. Clicks on just like that. Oh, cool. That's a very strong magnet. You have to like pull it a bit to take it off. So this is the front. It looks like Gundam. And we have this rat over here. And the stickers, so this is the control panel, the control panel for the, uh, for the stickers. So you can open the top here. The rat goes inside. And boom, the rat goes inside just like that. And there you go, it's completed. You can close it if you want. And yeah, that is the dumpster fire right there. That was pretty easy. I don't even think you needed instructions. It was very straightforward. But yeah, it's pretty simple to assemble. The fire is pretty cool. You can take out the fire if you wanted to. And this is what it looks like without the fire. And you can always just put it back on snaps on uh, just like that. You can move the jetpack around if you want or you can just take it off but I would just keep it on. I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how this is safe for a pilot to even be in there because it's on fire but hey it is the dumpster fire it is not supposed to make any sense. So yeah it's very cute. I thought it would be a little bit bigger but it's still a pretty cute size. Let me put this side by side with another dumpster fire so you guys can see the size difference. All right so we got another dumpster fire right here. Let's let's do a quick unboxing of this one. If you put them together there's there's no difference in size. They are the, actually there is kind of, there's kind of a difference. So if you look at the sides here, the door is a little thicker on this one compared to this one. Other than that, there is the same height, same width. The fire is exactly the same. It's just this one is a little more translucent and you can just take it off, of course, if you want. This one is, of course, more of a mech style dumpster fire compared to the normal one. So yeah, what do you guys think? I want to know your thoughts below. Even though I thought this would be a lot bigger, I still think it's worth it because of all the accessories that it comes with and the fact that you can open this compartment and reveal the rat inside it. So yeah, I really think that's cool. And of course, like the jetpack, it's a very cool jetpack and how you can like customize it. Maybe they're going to um, release more mecha dumpster fires and once they do release more with like different colorways, you can like take out 
uh, some of the parts, mix and match them. Maybe that's what they're trying to do in the future, so I can't wait for that. I think that's what's gonna happen. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If I were to rate this out of 10, I would rate this 9 out of 10. And the reason why it's missing one more point is because I wish this was a little bigger considering the fact that the box is huge compared with the normal dumpster fire box. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Unbox. All right, peace out.